It's Maggie Clark with IDA TV, and we're at the 2018 Scuba Show, and I'm here with Brittany Novick. She is the 2017 Miss Scuba International. Thanks so much for joining us today, Brittany. Of course, my pleasure. Hello. Could you tell us a little bit about how you gained this title? Absolutely. So Miss Scuba International is actually an international beauty pageant that focuses on women in diving and also ocean conservation. Um, so I won the USA title, which you'll talk to the current Miss Scuba USA in a little bit, but um, I won the USA title and actually went to Malaysia in November to the Sipadamabool Resort, had the opportunity to meet women from all over the world and compete for the title of Miss Scuba International, which I was honored to win. Wow. So here I am. Oh, congratulations. Been, what an honor. And you certainly cool. deserve it. Thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. So tell us what it means to be Miss Scuba International and what your year of reigning will consist of. Absolutely. So I won the title in November of 2017. So technically my reigning year is actually 2018. But I've just been traveling the world, going to different dive shows. I've been to Germany, uh, Shanghai, China, Honduras, the UK. And I'm basically just promoting scuba diving as a sport in general um, and also ocean conservation. I am a marine biologist by trade so um, the preservation of our oceans is something I care deeply deeply about so I've been working as much as I can especially with local kids especially local girls trying to get them excited about science and technology and just getting them amped up about conservation in general. Good. Yeah. Well you're doing a lot of good work and spreading a great message. How long have you been scuba diving? I actually learned to scuba dive in 2012 when I was in college because I was studying marine biology and I was like I should probably know how to scuba dive if I want to be a marine biologist so I learned in Ohio in a freezing quarry and it was I was like why did I do this but it was great where did you go to school I went to Bowling Green State University in Ohio mm -hmm. yeah I went to the University of Dayton hey, so that's awesome small know, world cool. yeah yeah so we're going to ask you our question of the day oh. and our question of the day is what is the most exciting thing that you've seen while scuba diving and where all right, so back in March, I was actually in Roatan, Honduras, filming a show for Kodak with our new 360 degree camera. Oh. We had the pleasure of diving with a bunch of uh, reef sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, and they are this beautiful iridescent gray mm. you can't even imagine but why why it meant so much to me is because a lot of the sharks actually had scars in their mouths from being caught by fish hooks and a lot of the coral bleaching going on there as well and it just was really you read about it you hear about it but to see it firsthand was just absolutely life-changing for me and really just amplified my cause and my yeah. motivation even more you know mm -hmm. so that was in, an incredible experience. I would highly recommend. It's amazing. It's a great story. Yeah. One more question. What do you think us as citizens can do on a day-to-day -day basis to save the planet and save the oceans? I love it. That's. Yeah. I appreciate you asking that question. I know it's really a daunting task, but you know, Plastics are a huge epidemic in our ocean. Everybody knows about it, everybody hears about it, and recycling is great, but it's important to remember that things can only be reused so many times until they break down into nothing. So the number one thing that I can ask all of you to do is to just cut back on your plastics use all together when you go to a restaurant just say no straw right. when you go through the drive-through no straw bring your own cup to Starbucks they usually give you a discount if you bring your own cup just little things like that you know make a huge difference I also live by the model pass no trash and I mean you pick up one piece of trash a day off the street even if it's not yours and you're picking up almost 400 pieces of trash a year wow. and it's it's just little things like that you know yeah. it's just thinking ahead to plan for that. So. That's such a great message, yeah. Brittany. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us with IDA TV. I'm Maggie Clark.